good afternoon. I'm Master Kira. And I'm Shyla Harris. And, and this, this is the KS News. News. We're back. Yeah. What's for lunch? <laughs> for tomorrow's lunch, we'll have cheeseburger, veggie patch, hummus, fruit, yogurt, and muffin, baked beans, lettuce and tomato, baked chips, barbecue or sour cream and onion, tropical fruit, or fruit juice. Mm. Yum. Yummy. Perfect attendance. Perfect attendance. Perfect attendance what we want. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mr. Butcher will now announce the class that had perfect attendance today. Thanks, guys. Classes with perfect attendance today in kindergarten, Ms. Baleska, Ms. Graham, and Ms. Johnson. In first grade, Ms. Belknap, Ms. Peterson, Ms. Pittman, and Ms. Whitten. In second grade, Ms. Bryan, Ms. Coyle, Ms. Escover, and Ms. Prickett. In third grade, Ms. Cruz, Ms. Massey, and Ms. Piner. In fourth grade, Ms. Ham, Ms. Hess, and Ms. Scott. In fifth grade, Ms. Chuck, Ms. Hester, and Ms. Hickson. And then also Dr. Mays. Ms. Hopkins and Ms. McWhorter all had perfect attendance. Thank you to those classes who had perfect attendance and congratulations again to Ms. Belknap for having the highest perfect attendance in October. Mr. Meadows will now announce the top lunchroom class. Thanks again guys. It is now time to recognize our classes in the lunchroom that Ms. Tamara and Ms. Jennifer picked to um, the ones that exemplified doing their jo four jobs the best. And remember we have four jobs. One is to eat your lunch, not play with it, not drop it on the floor, um, not pour your milk into your tray. The second one is to talk quietly to your friends. That means you're not screaming, you're not shouting. The third one is to stay in your seat. That means you're sitting in your seat, not getting up, not spinning around and facing forward, talking to people at your class. And the fourth one is to make sure that you're cleaning up when a tray falls on the ground, pick it up. Don't just leave it there. Um, even the video we showed you yesterday, the video which everyone said they liked, um, that's what you, you, you know, we showed it so you would learn not to do what you're not supposed to do and learn what you are are supposed to do and not the other way around. And today I actually had to go in the cafeteria with some second and third grade because they just were not doing, especially the sitting in the seat and, and and the talking quietly. So let's work on that. But today's classes that Miss Tamara and Miss Jennifer picked are Miss Newsom's, two days in a row, Miss Pittman, and Miss Stevens. Congratulations to those classes. For the joke of the day, we have Bridget Soros and Miss Powers class. Bridget, what's the joke of the day? Why do, what's a pirate's favorite place to eat at? I don't know, Bridget. What's a pirate pirate's favorite place to eat at? Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> For the fact of the day, we have Caden Sorrels and Miss Scott's class. Caden, what's today's fact? Did you know a red panda is not a panda, it is a marsupial? Mmm, that's interesting. Mmm. For the vocabulary word of the day, we have Grant Goodman and Miss Chandler's, Chandler's class. class. Grant, what's the vocabulary word of the day? Ba backbone. What's a backbone? A backbone is a bone in your body that keeps you standing. Hmm, interesting. Today we start the month of November, and November has two um, wonderful holidays in it. The first one um, is Veterans Day, which we celebrate on November 11th, and it's a day where we uh, recognize those people who have served in our armed forces. And I know our fourth grade has been working on a fabulous uh, performance that they're going to do. Um, a week from this Friday, and hopefully we'll see lots of your family members, uh, moms, dads, or grandparents, aunts, uncles, who serve in the military, and we have a special treat for you um, that, that morning as well, so that's coming up. But November's also the holiday where we celebrate Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving is, is my favorite holiday of all. It's a great, really special memory for my family because we do such a big uh, Thanksgiving. We get to sit around and say what we're thankful for and different things like that. And I challenge the teachers to uh, find students that they're thankful for. And um, each day during the month of November, we're going to share some of those with you. And so today we have some from fifth grade, and hopefully you enjoy. All right, hey Brigham. Uh, Mr. Butcher had asked us to choose one kid from our class that we were most thankful for to have in our class this year. And I chose you because every day, without fail, 
You come in in a positive mood and you're so happy. You get all of your work done on time. You help me every day at the end of the day, plugging up the computers so they'll be charged and ready for the next day and cleaning up the room, stacking chairs, and you never whine or complain. So I just wanted you to know that I am very thankful to have you in my class this year and that I love you a whole bunch. Kobe, I'm thankful for you because when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Because you come in and you smile all the time and you laugh and you make me smile too. Because you always have a can-do attitude and you try. And I'm just very thankful that out of all the fifth grade classrooms in all the world, you ended up in mine. That is all the announcements for today. Thank you for being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year 2024. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduation, you are fully committed to student success. It's now time for our car riders and after school buses to come to the gym. When you come to the gym, you need to walk around on the right side of the hall and be silent. When you get to the gym, you need to sit at your grade level rows and be silent so you can hear your car call. If you're a bus rider, you need to pay, pay attention to the, to the announcement so that you can hear your bus being called. When your bus is called, please make sure that you go straight to your bus. Also, make sure you walk on the right side and you are silent. Please make sure you pay attention so you don't miss your butts. We're serious. Yes, we are. I'm Ashton. And I'm Shyler. And that was the KS.